This video was recorded using the game Town of Salem, an online game where players are assigned to roll with different attributes and must complete their own goals depending on their alignment. It's very complicated, so I won't try to explain it, but it is a wonderful game that anyone can learn and have fun with. Now, on to the video. In 1692, the American colonies were heavily controlled by beliefs of religion and magic. The story you're about to hear is the story of a town who became overrun by witches, demons, and the devil. Except, there were no witches, demons, or devils. It was all one of the greatest examples of mass hysteria in all of history. This is the story of the Salem Witch Trials. Two girls, Betty Paris and Abigail Williams, started having fits. However, a doctor named William Griggs came over to check them out and found no evidence of any ailments. Other young girls seemed to be expressing the same behaviors. The citizens of Salem believed that this was being caused by witchcraft, and they immediately found three suspects, Sarah Good, Sarah Osborne, and Tatuba. Tituba was an Indian slave who was likely targeted due to her ethnicity. Sarah Osborne did not go to church, and in this Puritan society, that was considered suspicious. Sarah Good was a beggar who would ask for food and shelter from the residents of the town. The three suspects were interrogated and sent to jail. When more girls became afflicted, Three more suspects arose. Martha Corey, who was a prominent member of the church, felt that the girls' conditions were suspicious and that their accusation could be false, and was suspicious as a result. Dorothy Good was a four-year-old child. The final new suspect was Rebecca Nurse. The pace began to pick up now. Rebecca Nurse's sister, Sarah Cloyce, and Elizabeth Proctor were arrested in April. Giles Corey came under suspicion and did not plea. And in these times, if you didn't plea, the government couldn't take your assets. So, Giles Corey refused to plea. In an effort to change that, they put Giles Corey under a form of torture, where the victim is placed under a board and rocks are placed on top of the board. Instead of making a plea, Giles yelled, more weight, and died. More and more people were getting accused and the trial showed no sign of stopping. The first execution came on June 10th, when Bridget Bishop was found to be guilty of witchcraft and executed. The accusations didn't stop at Bridget Bishop, and even more people were accused and charged. On August 19th, five people, including John Willard and John Proctor, were executed. One woman's execution was delayed because she was pregnant, which is ironic considering they found her to be a witch, so why would the town want a witch's child? Back to the main point, Samuel Seawall, who was fighting up in Maine, returned to Salem Town. Samuel found the town dangerously close to tearing itself apart. Samuel condemned the trials and decided that they should stop, and there were no more executions. As an aftermath, the spectral evidence used to prove the people of Salem as witches was promptly banned from court, as it was impossible to confirm or deny. This marked the end of the Salem Witch Trials, and even though it sounds incredibly silly today that a town would kill dozens of their own, remember that this was 17th century America with little understanding of how the world truly works. And thank you for watching. I would love to give a huge thanks to everyone that helped me record this video. And if you'd like to check out the game I used, the link will be in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video.